Hey y'all, so I just received a Wi-Fi card and Bluetooth card from my brother for my birthday. It's the brand Ubit. And I'm gonna here install it on my custom built PC that is right now only LAN based. I don't have any slots yet for a Wi-Fi or Bluetooth card in my PCIe slots. So that's what this video is gonna be, a tutorial of how to install this on a PC from start to finish. Now the first thing you're gonna to wanna to make sure you have is a PCIe times one spot. And if I might, you look on my computer, I have two of them, but it's hard to see. So what I'm gonna do, you see my Radeon RX 500 XT graphics card there, and right underneath it, it's actually covering up one of my PCIe one slots. Right underneath that though, right here, you see I have my next PCIe times 16, but here is the open PCIe one slot, which is where I'm gonna put this Wi-Fi card. Now before I can do that, I have to come over here to the side and open up one of these slots, one of these expansion slots on my computer. And of course I'm gonna open up one of these bottom ones to make sure that it's compatible so that the card is actually gonna stick out from the side so that the antennas for the Wi-Fi will be able to stick out. Okay, because I needed to clean my computer a little bit, I went ahead and removed all three, removed some dust, and it's gonna be going into this PCIe slot right down here. Okay, so I'm gonna take the card. I'm simply going to line her up as best I can. And it should just click on in, there we go. That looks snug. And now I just need to attach it right over there. I took out the boring part of me screwing it in, but there it is screwed in nice and snug. It's all plugged in nice and well. And now on to the next step. So this hard part might be hard to see, but I have this small cable that I need to plug into the end of it right here. And then this side simply plugs in to a USB port on my motherboard. So here's the cord. I'm gonna probably push this down into the actual base of the, of the, uh, mother, of the case. But I got that plugged in there to the side and I got it plugged into my USB port, which is right here. Now I'm gonna go ahead and clean up this side of my case a little bit, reconnect everything, and then go ahead and turn my computer on and get the drivers going. Okay, so I have my computer up and running. Okay, so I have my uh, enabled Wi-Fi down here. I just booted up my computer. Let's take a look here what's going on. So I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on this Wi-Fi symbol. And you can see here, they're all already there. I didn't have to do anything with the drivers. I'll look at the drivers in a second, but they're all there, ready to go. And I'm gonna switch over to uh, computer view so you can see this a little bit easier. All right, so I have not yet connected my LAN at all. There's no internet connected to this computer at all. My LAN is sitting right here. You see that right there, that's my LAN. Bing, bing, bing. Not in my computer. So let's just go ahead and try this. I'm gonna do this without even doing anything with the drivers. I'm gonna go right here. Click on it. Here's the um, connection that I want. Here we go, I'm gonna just type it right, right on in. Boom. Let's see how well this connects. Boom, I'm connected. It worked right away. I did not do anything with the drivers. So now I have internet. Now let's go ahead and do a quick speed test. So I'll go to edge. Whoa, there we go. Now I get 1000 megabits a second uh, on LAN. And on a Wi-Fi, I'm getting almost 400 megabits a second. That's fantastic. I am very happy with that and it's working great. Now let's go ahead and check Bluetooth. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to devices. I will turn my Bluetooth on. It automatically showed up there before it wasn't there because I didn't have Bluetooth. I have this little armor Bluetooth thing that I got off Amazon. I'll turn this on, I'll put it in pairing mode. All right, it's blinking at me. That means it's in pairing mode. Let me go ahead and say add Bluetooth device. It's a Bluetooth device. Let's see if it finds this guy and I'll play some music. Ah, there it is, Armor Audio. Let me connect. I'll put this guy right over here, just behind me. It says it's connected, let's see if it plays. Done. Here we go, going to my browser again. Okay, so I found this uh, free non-copyrighted background music. So let's hope this works. I'm gonna play it. My Bluetooth is working. All right, that's all I'll play of it, just in case. 
Now I went ahead and go, went into my device manager. Let's take a look at this real quick. So all I'm gonna do on these is I'm gonna go ahead and just right click on these and go to update driver. I'll have it search automatically. And they say they're already installed and it's working right away, so I'm happy. Let's go ahead and go to Wi-Fi. That's under network. Here's my Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi 6. Update driver, search automatically. They're already installed. So I'll probably run a Windows update here or there, but the Wi-Fi, the drivers are all there. They're good to go. It's probably because I've done all my Windows updates and they're just there waiting for me. But that is how easy it is, folks. Get Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on your computer if you need it. I'm going to switch back to land for now, but if I go to a location where I need Wi-Fi, I'm going to be in a happy mood. Good luck.